Newsflash, <laughs> Instant Pot or Instant Brands is evidently getting into the coffee maker industry. And uh, I was unable to get the actual coffee maker today, but I'm going to describe it and show you what it does. It's pretty neat. But I was able to get the milk frother, something we kind of needed here. We're going to do a few tests with it. I'm going to explain both of them and uh, see what you think. I'm John Sanders, also known as Jelly007. Let's make some coffee with some uh, our cappuccino and lattes with our milk frother. Okay, so here is the product on Instant Pot's website or Instant Brands website. And uh, here's what it looks like. And uh, it does these two things right here. It does the K-cup that everybody's familiar with. And uh, a neat device. I, I use them quite often. And it also does the Nespresso, which is the same thing except for espresso coffee instead of normal coffee. And I have, I actually have one of those. I have a K-cup machine and an espresso, so I really don't need this device. I would have bought it had it been there today, though, just to review it. But y you can kind of get an idea. Right here, I'm going to go through it kind of quick to let you see what it does, because you can go to this website on Instant Brands and, and look at it, too. And then I'll try and go a little bit slow. It is, I believe, a Walmart exclusive. I don't know that, but uh, that's the only thing that I've, that's the only place I've been able to find it was at Walmart. And uh, you can see there what it claims and says. And then you got two-in-one brewer, which is K-Cups and an Espresso Capsules. Uh, easy to use and I'll just scroll through that and you can slow it down or pause it as you need to and then if you needed more info of course there's uh, specifications and stuff like that here and user manual which if, if you're interested in that you can go further problem is I do not have that in hand I do however have the milk frother in hand and we did need one of these because uh, the one I had, we, 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 we let my son and daughter-in-law use, and, and we just needed another one because it's a really neat device. Because we don't per se make espressos here. We don't maybe make true cappuccinos or lattes. We make coffee, and then we use a frother to uh, make hot froth milk, and uh, it, really, it really works well. Now, it's not, it's not a, a, cap, a, a true cappuccino or latte, but it works. I'm going to show you how this works. In fact, I've never uh, I plugged it in, but I have not ran anything through it. So we're going to do that. I'll show you the box right quick. Uh, let's see. We're on the English side, and you can see so far what I see. Uh, it comes with a manual and stuff like that. And there you can pause that if you need to. And there it is in, I think that's French. And there's that. So... I mean, it does other things, and you might can read that. Like right here, it makes hot or cold foam, uh, foam and heats milk. So it does a hot chocolate. I read in the manual where it, you know, you can heat up milk and do that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of get off of that right quick. In fact, we're just gonna start making some type of coffee and make this as short as possible. But that's the artwork on the box. And uh, we we do some of this sometimes. I mean, you can grind up milk, but I'll I'll get into that in a minute. Main thing we want to do is see how this works. So, y'all hold up. I'm going to get some of that started and I'll be back. Okay, so here are some of the things that I'll test tonight to give you an idea how it uh, froths those products right there. But the thing about this one that's different than our other is that it has a few extra settings. And uh, I'm going to try and show you. It's got four settings or functions. And, there, and I'm going to hold that as steady as I can and maybe you can pause it and read those. And uh, it's cold foam, warm foam, warm thick foam, and warm no foam. And I, this right here is what you would do to do steamed milk or hot chocolate and more, as it says. Now, obviously, hadn't tried that. Uh, here's a few other things you need to know. The, it has two max lines inside this cup. Now, I'm not sure I understand why they called it. I think it's, it's common in the industry, though. I think other people do it, too. But you can see there's a minimum, and then there's a max, and then another max. And that has to do with warm or cold foam. And I'm going to get off of this real quick, but right here, 
there's the function and how you get to it and uh, pretty much the instructions. So that's what I'm going to be using. I'm, I may not do all of the functions. Uh, we kind of cheat. What we do a lot of times is we use a K-cup, we brew our coffee, and then we will froth this type stuff and uh, pour that over a normal cup of coffee, even though, like I said, I've got the espresso, and sometimes I do, but it's more like an evening drink when we're doing this. Uh, morning coffee, I'm usually just drinking my coffee and getting out of there, but I will uh, get some of this going. I'm going to put uh, one of these devices in here. We're going to froth it and see how it does. So hold up. So I'm going to start out with the almond milk. And uh, we don't do a lot. We usually get right above minimum, or that's what I do. So I'm going to see if I can let you see in here. And by the way, I'll show you how this works. It has a removable uh, spring, which is very easy to pull out and clean. Now, you can't put this in a dishwasher, but you can, obviously, because it's got electronics in it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right between the min and the, and the bottom max. All I want to do is kind of cover that spring. And if I'll show you, if I can, what I mean. If you can see in there, and I'll have to turn something. And I don't know why I'm going so far with it. You, you get the idea, I'm sure. But, in fact... <laughs> Probably making, making this more complicated than it should be, but I'm barely covering that spring. You can see it right there. So, now, set that up, move the camera back. And you can see right here on the function that you just press that to go to where you want. Well, we want the warm, thick foam. So there's the uh, warm foam, and here is the warm, thick foam. I'm going to put, place the lid on. I'm going to hit start. As a matter of fact, I'll let you see down in there if I can. We're going to take the lid off. I just don't think it's going to go anywhere with me. But there it is. And that is it working. So as soon as that's done, I'll be back and uh, we'll see what kind of product it produces. Okay, so kind of to my surprise, I would say that was right at a minute. It is done. I mean, that was quick. And there's what we got. We're going to pour it in this cup right here and see what almond milk looks like. And uh, I ain't impressed. I'm not going to lie. Let's see if it got warm. It got warm. So I'm not really sure on the almond milk. Uh, might have to uh, rethink that, but I'll show you. There's how it looks in the cup. Well, I guess it's not bad. I mean, it would be okay. And again, it's not what I normally use, so I'm not really sure what to expect. And I never pour it in a cup by itself, but that's the only way we can see how it looks. Okay, so now for the half and half, and just to make sure, I mean, I just opened it and I shook it, but I'm going to double check. <laughs> and it's just out of the refrigerator. It's been sitting out maybe, you know, under 10 minutes. So I'm going to pour that to about the same level where I cover the spring. The lid back on. Put this lid on here. I'm going to take it to uh, the function of the warm froth milk. I think that's how they refer to it, but the same one I had the almond milk on. Going to hit start. Going to hit start right there. We're off and running. And as you can see, it's going in there also. So be back when that finishes. Okay, it just turned off at 133. We'll stop it. Open the lid, and it a world of difference. I did want to take a temperature check right quick, but a world of difference. Uh, 149, 150 degrees or so. And I'll let you see that. You can do some latte art with this, I got a feeling. In fact, let me get again where you can see me pouring. Yeah, in fact, that is way more than I would need for my cup of coffee. I'm going to have to stop. No, I, I got it. That's a whole cup. But that, now that worked right there. That is frothed milk or half and half. We're going to let it sit a little bit and see how it does. And you can see in there, but... When I, just so you'll know, I barely covered the spring again, and the black 
knob was sticking up above the liquid level. So I'm going to let that sit just a minute and see how it settles out. In fact, we're at 1 minute and 36 seconds for that to finish. We're going to start that again and let it sit a minute where we get an idea of what it looks like after it sits a few minutes. Be back. All right, we are at almost six minutes, and this has not almost, pretty much hasn't done anything. I mean, it still looks like it did when I poured it out. In other words, that would stay on your coffee very well. And uh, and one of the reasons we use this, and I'm assuming, I'm hoping this is going to do just as well in this machine as it does the other one. But, you know, if, if you were not, it even mentions in here, flavoring your froth. Well, you can take this Starbucks vanilla or whatever flavor you wanted and add to that and have a, you can do a lot, which is kind of the same thing right here. And that's why we started using this. But we're about to see how it does. So I'm going to get, wipe some things down right here and make sure this is cooled all the way down because I want to start, it's like the first run. And we're going to see how my creamer does. I'll be back. Okay, so for now, what me and the wife do, uh, and it is kind of a cheat, and we just use coffee. We don't normally use espresso. We've kind of gone to just doing that. But what I'm going to do is put about the same amount, barely cover the spring, and leave the black knob sticking up. And I'm going to put the lid on. We're going to go to the same setting, which is the hot froth. I'm going to hit start. I'm going to hit start right there, and you can see it is up and running. So we'll see how it does. And right quick, I will say, when I poured this out just in, I almost wish I had done it on camera. It was probably three-eighths of an inch liquid. The rest of it was thick, heavy cream uh, or foam or froth. It was impressive. So anyhow, we'll see how this one looks. Be back in a minute. And there it goes. It just cut off at say one minute 35 seconds we'll do the same thing with the temp it does look a little different but it's a little cooler now this may have been a little cooler because i had taken it out of the refrigerator a little later i guess i had stuck it back in there but we're going to see what it looks like right here in fact i got to get my handle in my hand and here we go And that is exactly what I want. A little more than I would want for my coffee. I mean, you don't have to use it all, of course. But uh, I will say, I want to try and show exactly what I mean by where I'm filling this. If you were looking at it, I'm leaving that knob right there sticking up. And it's a brand new to me. It's a brand new device, so I am learning with it. But we're going to let this sit the same way. And you see, it looks good. I think that's going to be our go-to uh, for quite a while and there's nothing wrong with using this right here. We're gonna let that sit a few minutes In fact, I'll clear that and Start it over again. We'll let it sit for about five minutes and I'll show you what it looks like then Okay, just just for the record. No other reason we're coming up on five minutes And I did want to show you how well I think it matters how long that froth stands and you may can see that Level right there, but we'll do it like this and you'll be able to so let's see that is froth. I mean, that <laughs> looks good. You could do art. I may brew a cup of coffee and try. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm not good at it, so there's really no need in that. But you kind of get the idea, uh, hey, it works. And if you like if you like us, we kind of cheat, but there's plenty of other ways. And you saw what half and half did. I'm not sure what heavy cream would do or, or even milk, but I have that. But <laughs> if it's really bad, I'll post it. But I'm not going to try and ex extend this video much longer than I already have. But I may brew one cup of coffee, pour my thing in, let you see what it looks like. So hold up, I'll do that. Okay, so for my uh, actual cup of coffee, way too late for me to drink, be drinking coffee, but <laughs> I'm going to do it. Same thing, I'm going to pour it right to the edge of that spring and that is it and i know i done tried to show it once but you can see it's barely covering the spring i'm going to hit that button and that button i'm going to hit start so we're off and running i'm gonna get my coffee started i'll be back okay so that's eight ounces of some really strong coffee as a matter of fact this means nothing i just got it running yeah, i never did turn it off while i go there is our uh, caramel macchiato 
creamer and we're going to see just how it looks. I'm going to have to turn that coffee cup around because it is hot. <laughs> And we're just going to show you what I do. Now, this is in a brand new machine that I've never really messed with, so I may, I know I have a little too much creamer. But take my word. That right there in the evenings, uh, it, it just makes a great cup of coffee. It's something to look forward to, I'll put it like that. And uh, I'd have a mustache if I drank that right now, but I'm going to let that sit and take my word. That's what you can expect, though. There you go. And... Uh, the instant milk frother. And if I get the machine, which I'm not sure I will, like I said, I've already got uh, devices that'll do what it does. But it's just kind of interesting that Instant Pot is getting into the uh, milk frothing business. I will say right quick, I'm going to, after I sign off, I'm going to drop in that video of uh, where I made a, where I was at Walmart and they were out of them on the shelf. But it shows the price and I think it was $1.19. I'm not positive. This was $29.99. But anyhow, I'm going to drop that in after I tell y'all goodbye. So y'all uh, look into making some really good coffee at home. It, it's not, I'm telling you, it's doable. You can make some really, really good coffee that everybody loves and have fun with it. You can add stuff like nutmeg and cinnamon and do kind of like what Starbucks does. I love y'all all. Come back to see me. Make some good coffee and uh, froth you some milk. Bye-bye. Okay, and, and just for the record, I said I paid $29.99. Well, right there it is, $29.92. So here comes that video I promised. All right, right there is the device. Kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. It's definitely made by Instant Pot or Instant Brands. And uh, it does K-cups and espresso capsules in one machine. And kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. That right there is how the top looks and they are actually out of them so i'm not going to get to try one yet but i'm not sure i will i've already got both these type devices but you can see they got it right by the ninja so they're trying to compete with the coffee market i did get the frother